give you me my please. internet. Please don't go down on me. Excuse me. Uh, me too. I mean, please me don't too. not be, have internet. Don't please. let Comcast go down on us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that song. I know. It's a classic. <laughs> but when you're really singing it, it sucks. Yeah, you're it's like, the worst. Please, please, please stay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, when you're actually singing that song for real, you really want right, to. You're like, oh, today it doesn't yeah. hasn't gone well. Uh -huh. Please don't not give me internet. Did Roger notice... had let us know that there, there's there been this elusive rat that has been you know, prowling <laughs> around his house. And, you know, just like the traps aren't working and power's going out or internet's going out. And, you know, I was like, Roger, you have a pet rat. Just admit it. <laughs> <laughs> Name the rat, put a little bow around its neck, Ratatouille, and just yeah. you know, just yeah. own the rat. Uh, yeah, the rat, the rat has adopted you. Oh. So the Great Salt Lake will get a certain weather system will hit it, and then we'll just get dumped on by snow. But it won't be coming from any outside system. It's coming from the yeah. lake. Yeah, it sucks. That's that's the worst because it's the Great Salt Lake is an amazing place, but it smells. It's like a big shrimp, you know. It smells like mess. shrimp. Yeah, because a bunch of little brine shrimp and stuff. And um, yeah. so when you get lake effect snow, freaking PU, dude. It just is the reekiest thing. Ew. Wait, does it yeah. smell like those shrimp chips? Have you Stinky ever seen those snow? shrimp chips? It is a little bit like shrimp chips. It's worse when it's rain. <laughs> It'd be even creepier if there were brine shrimp in your snow. <laughs> like, ah, it's not snow at all. It's just shrimp. We need it for the spring runoff because that's the primary source of, like, water. The spring here. runoff, of course, is is the election. <laughs> yes, the spring runoff of the election. The election and then of March the Snow Madness. Queen. Yeah. It, it used to be called running of the uh, brine shrimp. If the snow, <laughs> if none of the Snow Queens uh, get more than fifty percent, uh, then the Queens will race brine ship shrimp for the uh, for the position. Brine yeah, like ships. They do. That would be like that'd be do. such a cool <laughs> job. You got, well, like, that's a sea monkey topic. brine chimp. I may have promised on Twitter that we'd talk about quantum tacos, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> Is that a brand? Quantum. Of tacos? Oh man, I would have been able to draw quantum tacos, man. <laughs> you still can. Oh, I don't know. I guess I could add a little taco to this. Apparently, and... it's a restaurant in Taiwan. Really? Uh, I just did a search for quantum tacos, and there's a place called Quantum Tacos Sinchu. Are they really it smart? Is, it is both a taco and not a taco at the same time. <laughs> Well, it's, it's... my shell is empty. Look again. <gasps> Look again. <laughs> Observing the taco changes the taco. <laughs> what what kind of? They don't ask you what kind of taco you want. They just they, you, they just give you a taco and say once you observe it, it will collapse into. Well, something. what, what they taco. do is they just give you a bill and say you already ate it. That's right. Oh, but you've already eaten it. But I didn't observe it. That's okay. We did. Right. Here's Wait, your bill. Come back next time. <laughs> you know, occasionally that happens where, you know, tacos just blink out of existence. Can you entangle your taco? Yes, I can. I can entangle it with hot sauce, uh, <laughs> cheese. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I need more hot sauce. Mm.